You may know my next guest from Michael Moore's TV Nation. Well, now he has his own show called Louis Theroux's Weird Weekends on Bravo. Please welcome Louis Theroux. <laughs> Good. It's good to be here. Yeah. I came over from London, and uh, I used to live in New York. I don't know if you know this. In your old neighborhood. Whereabouts? In Williamsburg, south side. Williamsburg, Williamsburg Brooklyn. Which kind is, of a tough neighborhood. It's like quintessential New York in the sense that um, empty crack files everywhere on the street. Where you walk around, you're sort of having to wade through empty crack files. And uh, I remember when I lived there, one day I got home from work, um, from TV Nation, in fact, and my girlfriend was there. She was really excited. And she said, look what I found. A full one. Someone had left a full crack vial on the, on the doorstep, and she said, well, you know, let's take it. And I was like, don't be ridiculous. We're not going to just take a crack vial that someone's left on the doorstep. You know, if we take crack, we're going to take some really good crack. <laughs> you know, we want the quality stuff. Exactly. But it was nice, because actually, I, my, when I was there, my bike, I remember, like, the first night I was there, I locked my bike up outside, and someone slashed the tires. So when the, when the full cr crack vial was there, I was like, well... On the good side, maybe it's like a little, maybe this is the South Side Williamsburg equivalent of a fruit basket. You know, a little welcoming <laughs> gift. We feel bad yeah, about yeah. your bike. Yeah, we feel bad here about you your go. bike. Yeah, here you go. Here's a little bit of crack. Maybe it was, it was good crack, maybe. I don't know. I never took it. You don't want to touch that stuff. No. It's wrong, kids. All right. Um, uh, a lot has been written about the show that you did this Friday, mm. uh, which is unusual. You did a report on the gay pornography industry. Well, it's about porno, the porno industry in general, and, and specifically the, uh, the world of the male performers. Right. And then, and, then, and then I... See, the way I report the stories, they're documentaries, and uh, they follow me as I attempt to, to sort of tackle these different professions or lifestyles. Right. So in this one, I attempt to become a porno performer. And, uh, and, you, and you actually... I, I, I mean, I, the, the clip I saw, the part that I was watching, you actually... You actually got a part in a well, I in, a, in a gay in a porn gay video, porn film, right? Yes. And I and and um, which actually for for guys is not totally unknown. It's called being gay for pay because I'm not gay, um, and, uh, and and it was called it taped under the name Snowbound, and it was released under the title Take a Peek, P E A K. It was one of those great porno puns. And I remember... <laughs> Those people are brilliant. <laughs> it is creative. So, uh, so, so in this, uh, I guess it, it takes place in the woods and a bunch of guys are, are snowed in. Yeah. And, and you play the part of... Of the park ranger. The park ranger. And I remember because... Because I told my dad, like, I was going to be doing this uh, cameo in a porn film. And he goes, oh, yeah, what kind of film? You know, it's part of the documentary. Right. And, and uh, I said, well, it's a gay porn film. And he said, hmm... I think it'd be funnier if it was a street porn film, right. and I, I loved how like he was basically right. saying like I'd be more comfortable with that. Comfortable, like, but it wasn't. He, he couldn't say that it'd be more comfortable. It's like it'd be funnier, right? You know, putting it in my terms, if right. it was a straight porn. Well, we have a clip here from uh, from the film that you made, which is called Snowbound. Is that right? Yeah, it was released under the title Take a Peek. In fact, I, when I, afterwards, after making it, like about six months later, I was in Kim's video in New York. And I walked in, and uh, I was thinking I was renting like La like Grande Illusion, something like really high-minded and arty, and, uh, and, and Take a Peek was right there on the counter. Right. It, my past had caught up with me. It was like, Did anyone was recognize you? Like, hey, it's the Ranger. No, it was weird. That <laughs> no one said, hey, it's the Ranger, but I, I didn't get any billing on the, on the box. I was like, hey, here's my movie. It finally came out. Right. That's how they left me off, off the cover. <laughs> Although it did get a write-up, and then someone else came up and said, hey, you're written up in this magazine. It was a gay... Uh, Porn review magazine, I guess, kind of like Screw magazine, right. and I think it, it, they rated it on the Peter meter, and it got three erections out of four. <laughs> Which is good. Probably good. Which is good. Good for you. Let's take a. Let's take, I think this is a clip of you filming your scene. Now, this isn't uh, actually a clip from the movie. This is a clip of you filming your ranger scene. So let's take a look. About my character. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What, what can you tell me about? The ranger. Okay, well, the ranger basically is the authority figure. Is the ranger gay? I, I don't think a ranger is necessarily gay. I think a ranger is asexual. Action. Good evening, ranger. Good evening. Come on in. Good evening, gentlemen. I'm just out telling everyone to be on the lookout for an escapee from Jordan Valley Prison. Officer, we'll keep our eyes open for anybody that looks suspicious. You can keep that composite, and if you need to, call me. Oh my God! I was very nervous. 
the scene. Yeah, but you're the best actor there. <laughs> it's very kind. Wow. Now, um, the show, uh, Louis Theroux's Weird Weekends, I mean, what's nice is that I, I, it, it's a funny blend. There's some funny stuff in yeah. it. But also, you really do actually, you learn a lot about, you know, you learn a lot about you these different industries. and you learn. You laugh, you learn, and then you cry. And then you cry. Right. Yeah, no, it's supposed to be, well, not educational, but it's supposed to be informative. It's documentary, but, you know, not the boring kind, basically. Right. So, yeah, do watch it. Well, Louis Theroux's Weird Weekends, Fridays at 8 o'clock on Bravo. And, Louis, thank you very oh, much for coming pleasure. by. Good yeah, to have you here. Pleasure. Louis Theroux, everybody, check out the show. We'll be right back. We'll see you in a minute. Okay, everybody, that is our show. And I do want to thank all my guests. Stay tuned for later, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Mm -hmm.